in this class we are going to discuss about converting nfa with epsilon transitions to nfa without epsilon transitions so here uh, an nfa is given so for this nfa with uh, epsilon transitions we have to construct an equivalent nfa without epsilon transitions here we have two steps the first step is we have to find epsilon closure of all the states second step is calculate extended transition function of all the states on each and every input symbol so here step 1 is step 1 is find epsilon closures so we need to find epsilon closure of each and every state so epsilon closure of here we have three states are there q0 q1 and q2 and input alphabet mainly contains two symbols so what are they input alphabet contains two symbols they are a and b so a is one input symbol b is another input symbol this epsilon is not the part of the input alphabet by using epsilon we can move from one state to another state without applying any input symbol so this epsilon is not the part of the input alphabet let us calculate epsilon closure of q0 epsilon closure of any state is itself so epsilon closure of q0 is q0 epsilon closure of q1 is q1 epsilon closure of q2 is q2 only and then here if we apply epsilon on q0 then it is not possible to go to any other state so here epsilon is not applied on q0 so here epsilon closure of q0 is only q0 only why because no epsilon is applied on q0 next epsilon closure of q1 here we have an epsilon transition if we apply epsilon on q1 then we will go to q2 state so epsilon closure of q1 will also become q1 as well as q2 why because epsilon closure of q1 is q1 only by applying epsilon on q1 we will go to q2 next epsilon closure of q2 is q2 on q2 we don't have any epsilon transition so q2 is the only state this is step 1 and step 2 is we have to calculate we need to find extended transition functions extended transition functions we have to calculate extended transition functions extended transition function is denoted by delta bar or in place of bar we can also use dash so delta dash of what is the initial state q0 comma here we have two input symbols so first we have to calculate delta dash of q0 comma a next to delta dash of q0 comma b likewise we need to proceed so here the formula is epsilon closure of delta of epsilon closure of what is the state here q0 is the state comma input symbol is a is the input symbol here the input symbol is a so that equal to epsilon closure of delta of what is epsilon closure of q0 epsilon closure of q0 is q0 only so epsilon closure of q0 is q0 comma what is the input symbol a is the input symbol so that is equal to epsilon closure of De, uh, we can write this as delta of q0 comma a so delta of q0 comma a means it is q1 if we apply a on q0 then we will get q1 so q1 epsilon closure of q1 is q1 comma q2 q1 comma q2 so we need all these values but here we have some space constraints limitations so that's why i am writing there so here delta bar of q0 comma a equal to what is the result q1 comma q2 q1 comma q2 next we have to calculate delta bar of so this is dash in place of dash we can also use bar also it is our choice so delta dash of we have one more input symbol that is b so delta dash of q dot comma b equal to here in place of a we have to apply b b so in place of a we have to apply b so q dot comma b means on on q not b transition is not there so here 
delta of q naught comma b means epsilon or we can write it as pi so on q naught it is not possible to apply b so epsilon closure of uh, pi is nothing but pi only pi only so here the next one is delta dash of q naught comma b equal to pi so likewise we have to calculate delta dash of q1 comma a next delta dash of q1 comma b next delta dash of q2 comma a and then delta dash of q2 comma b we have to calculate all these things so next let us calculate delta dash of q1 comma a q1 comma a so let us compute that so delta dash of what is the state q1 q1 is the state so q1 comma a equal to what is the formula epsilon closure of delta of epsilon closure of what is the state q1 is the state so q1 comma input symbol is a that is equal to epsilon closure of delta of what is epsilon closure of q1 epsilon closure of q1 is q1 comma q2 q1 comma q2 comma input symbol is a so that is equal to epsilon closure of so comma is nothing but union or operator so we can write this as delta of q1 comma a union delta of q2 comma a so that is equal to epsilon closure of what is delta of q1 comma a q1 comma a there is no transition union q2 comma a also there is no transition pi so q1 comma a no transition q2 comma a no transition so pi union pi is nothing but pi only epsilon closure of pi is nothing but pi only so delta bar of q1 comma a equal to pi so likewise calculate delta dash of q0 comma b q1 comma b so now in place of a we will get b in place of a we will get b now in place of a we will get b in place of a we will get b so what is q1 comma b delta of q1 comma b means pi whereas what is q2 comma b q2 comma b means q2 so pi union q2 is nothing but q2 what is epsilon closure of q2 epsilon closure of q2 is q2 q2 so here delta dash of q1 comma b is nothing but q2 is the result so likewise we have to compute two more transition functions so what are they delta dash of q2 comma a q2 comma b so let us find out that so delta dash of q2 comma a equal to epsilon closure of delta of epsilon closure of what is the state q2 is the state comma input symbol is a that is equal to epsilon closure of delta of what is epsilon closure of q2 it is q2 only so delta of q2 comma a that is equal to epsilon closure of what is delta of q2 comma a q2 comma a means pi on q2 no epsilon transition pi epsilon closure of pi is nothing but pi only likewise we have to compute delta dash of q2 comma b so here we will get b here we will get b what is q2 comma b it is q2 what is epsilon closure of q2 epsilon closure of q2 is q2 only q2 only so now all the extended transition functions are calculated now we have to identify the final states in the nfa diagram in the nfa with epsilon transitions q2 is the final state q2 is the final state so now we have to check whether this q2 is available in epsilon closure of q0 and epsilon closure of q1 or not here epsilon closure of q0 doesn't contains q2 that means by, uh, on q0 by applying epsilon transition it is not possible to go to q2 so from q0 state by applying epsilon transition it is not possible to go to q2 so we can say that q2 is q0 is not a final state why because epsilon closure of q0 doesn't contain q2 whereas if you take epsilon closure of q1 it contains q2 that means by applying epsilon on q1 we can go to q2 so here the final states are q1 and q2 are the final states whereas q0 is not a final state so here q0 is not a final state whereas q1 
and Q2 are the final states. Q1 and Q2 are the final states. So let us draw the transition diagram. Delta dash of Q0, A means Q1, Q2. So on Q0, if we apply A, then we will go to Q1. We will go to Q1 as well as we will go to Q2 also. Q0 on A goes to Q1 and Q2. Next to Q0 and B, pi. There is no need to use any uh, uh, this pi state. There is no need to have any dead state. Okay. Why? Because this is NFM only. Next, Q1 comma A means pi. No need of any transition. Next, Q1 comma B equal to Q2. So, on applying B on Q1, we will go to Q2. Next, Q2 comma A means pi. So, no need. Q2 comma B means Q2. Q2 comma B means Q2. So, this is the NFA diagram without epsilon transitions. So, in this way, we can convert NFA with epsilon to NFA without epsilon transitions.